Kubor Kabati C TV. Lawan Rashapi Daka Frank Motors. I am Tata Punch. Price starting at 5.80 lakhs. Ringkat Bakanet Foodish. Or Dharma Pi, Nin Wan Ramani, Hakir Dob Ying Jong Pi. Mr. Speaker, sir, reply to start question number 82A. Yes, sir. B. 36 number, sir. C. Is Kasiris, South Vision Shlong, Nimrod School in So Young Community School. Is Kasiris, So Rai, Nil. West Cass Hills, Subvision Martian Road, Athiabari Community School, Southwest Cass Hills, Mapurwan, Mahesh Kala Community School, East and West Cass Hills, Mairang, Mao Kapwa Community School, West St. Hills, Juai, Nil, West St. Hills, Amlarem, Amlarilim Community School, East End Hills, Clearian, Saiwal Government of the School, East End Tia, Clearian, Molhoi Government of the School, Ribhoi District, Nongpo, Maoker Government of the School, West Karo Hills, Tura Nil, West Karo Hills, Dadengri Nil, East Karo Hills, William Nagar, Baringre Nengsil, Government of the School, East Karo Hills, Gilam Naga, Major Gray, Dogru Government of the School, East Karo Hills, Gilam Naga, John Megre, Government of the School, East Karo Hills, Gilam Naga, Nobok Gray, Government of the School, East Karo Hills, Gilam Naga, Rengre Gray, Government of the School, East Karo Hills, Gilam Naga, Savil Gray, Government of the School, East Coast Film Nagar, Rong Rong Gray, Government of the School, East Coast Film Nagar, Danal Bolkipok, Government of the School, East Coast Hills Film Nagar, Bol Moran, Dochok Government of the School, East Coast Film Nagar, Koknal Mong, Government of the School, South West Coast Hills Ampati, Patre Gray, Government of the School. North Karo Hills, Resulpara, Naya Para, Government of the School. South Karo Hills, Batmara, Roma, Rekman Gray, Government of the School. South Karo Hills, Batmara, Chimitap, Government of the School. South Karo Hills, Batmara, Paskong, Government of the School. South Karo Hills, Batmara, Mon Rong Snagre, Government of the School, South Korea Hills, Bakmara, Halwa Atam, Government of the School, South Korea Hills, Bakmara, Baman Gray, Government of the School, South Korea Hills, Bakmara, Gene Gray, Government of the School, South Korea Hills, Bakmara, Wage Bok Gray, Government of the School, South Korea Hills, Bakmara, Dambuk Aga, Government of the School, South Korea Hills, Bakmara, Rongru Asim, Government of the School, South Hills Bakmara, Kanhi, Kanchi, Galak, Government of the School. South Hills Bakmara, Dambuk Apal, Government of the School. South Hills Bakmara, Emandura, Banda, Government of the School. South Hills Bakmara, Aruga Gray, Government of the School. South Hills Bakmara, Oper Doso Gray, Government of the School. South Hills Bakmara, Daring Gray. Government LP School, sir. <coughs> yes, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, sir, from the replies of the Honorable Minister in Charge of Education, we have come to know that there are as many as 36 government LP schools where there is not even a single teacher. So, in that case, what will be the fate of the students? And what alternative steps are being taken to ensure 
the schooling and the education for the children in these villages are continued. Mr. Speaker, sir, in most of the village where the school located, there are alternative school, nearby school, which student is attending. And number two, sir, that uh, this teacherless school happened due to uh, retirement or transfer or uh, resignation of the incumbent teachers and wherever the uh, schools, the nearby, sco the nearby school from that schoolless, uh, teacherless uh, schools, we have a pro for rationalization to push the teacher where so that the student could go to that school. Mr. Speaker, sir, it's a very important issue. It's a question of the future of our children, the future of our youths. And if this foundation of the education of our children is not taken care of, we'll be lending up with, by having lots of problem and it will be overburden to all of us in future. So in the, from the reply of the Honorable Minister, he said in the most of the cases, that means somewhere, somewhere, some interim arrangements are being met, but not everywhere. So we cannot even deprive even a single child. It's a fundamental right. Where is then the free and compulsory education to be given as enshrined in the Constitution? So, the rationalization, why it is still in the future tense, it should, be, it should have been done immediately without wasting time, just to protect the interest of the children. You may put a question, please. No, it is very serious, Mr. Speaker, sir. It is. So, it, I, I urge upon the government, I will have to speak about the background, the collateral effects, then only the government will know. That's why I'm speaking, Mr. Speaker, sir. So I would like to, I will urge upon the government to do the legislation process immediately without wasting any time. Will the government will do immediately? Sir, the process have been, have, uh, we have done. We have a, given a permission to Southwest West Kansas, uh, SDSEO Southwest West Kansas, Mark Rawat. SDS is EO Martian Road, Avestas Hills. SDS EO Myram. SDS EO Nongpo. SDS EO Bakmara. SDS EO Resubil Para and others to rationalize and post the teachers wherever the, stud the schools in the, this uh, schoolless teachers where the village is very far for the student to attend. Sir, we have been raising this issue repeatedly even inside this house and even outside the house for the larger interest of the uh, people of the state. Now, there are a number of vacant posts to be filled up. And as the Honorable Minister has stated, due to retirement, due to transfer, due to resignation, these uh, schools have become teacherless. So why the induction or the appointment, even on contractual basis, is not met to ensure the continuation of education of the children in these schools? Sir, I have already stated in the house a few days back. So, sir, uh, this uh, problem happened in the midst of doing of a recruitment process 
and also preparing for the recruitment process where due to the due to the uh, 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 judgment of the honorable high court that we have to prepare the rosa system so preparation of rosa system is uh, is almost complete and we hope that uh, we will able to do this process as early as possible and i have already stated that this uh, and i will repeat it myself that uh, we are trying to look at the parameter within the framework of legal uh, within the legal framework how whether there is any scope for the appointment temporary appointment of this teacher without going through the roster system so we didn't want to cut any legal tangle uh, we are prepping for that so we hope that in the few days time few weeks time we will able to complete for the best interest of the student community in the state because our intention is that uh, to see that the student get the education <clears throat> yes. mr speaker sir <clears throat> the honorable courts be it High Court or the Honorable Supreme Court, it's to protect, to safeguard and uphold the provision of the Constitution and safeguard the provision of the law. So as the leaders, when we have powers and positions, these powers and positions comes along with responsibilities. It seems the people in, who are in harm of affairs they want power without responsibility. I would like to know from the government whether the government had met an effort by filing an affidavit before the Honorable High Court to vacate, to do some interim arrangements by not depriving the children from their fundamental rights. As the Honorable Member pointed out, we have the responsibility and we have the will to do it. But sir, uh, I must say that the judgment of the Honorable High Court clearly stated that all appointments should be followed the Rostar system. And uh, it is not a very easy... No, so sir. I, my, my question is, uh, let me be very specific. My question is, sir, there is always... There, is, there are always ways and means. There are always ways. Just... Honorable Member, please take a seat. Just please, please take just a seat. To please take a seat. Let the minister reply. If you're not satisfied, you can ask again. No I'm just running, sir. Please, no. <clears throat> sir, I have already replied that uh, the Honorable High Court judgment clearly specify that all the recruitment process should follow the Rasta system. And to prepare the Rasta for the last 50 years, it is not very easy. I'm not telling that all the previous government or the previous leader are irresponsible, that this burden fall on us. No. It is the process we are willing. That's why I told that we are very confident that the process will be complete in the few days, few weeks, so that uh, whatever we do will be in conformity with the legal process. Sir, my question was very specific. I was intending, intending to know that whether the government has come up with any affidavit to be filed or filing before the High Court, Honorable High Court, because they may, they may, there may be intervention from the Honorable High Court, but there are ways and means. Just in this specific case, the government uh, could have filed an affidavit asking the Honorable High Court, requesting before the Honorable High Court to vacate only for this reason. Thereby, we will rescue the children from being deprived of their constitutional rights. There is no. Sir, uh, we have not filed the affidavit to exempt this because. Many of the departments, small departments, they have already completed the process for rationalization, which we have seen that just yesterday or a few days back, that MPAC issued the Corrigendum 
for the uh, for the advertisement of uh, for the posts which have advertised following the roster system. We are hoping that whatever we do, we'll do uh, according to the legal framework, and we are very sure that we'll complete the process, sir. Bowen, <coughs> Mr. Speaker, sir. In course of his reply, the Honourable Minister replied to the questioner's question B, the total number of vacant posts, 36. Sir, I don't agree with that figure. I have raised this two schools within my constituency day before yesterday when we were discussing the subject during short duration. Uh, discussion. I within my consultation, I have two schools, which doesn't figure here. I have two teacherless schools. One school is Sindulgre Government Health School. Another is Kerupara Government Health School. Sindulgre Health School is now. It is two and a half years. Teacherless school, single teacher run, single teacher run school. There was no intervention from the Honorable High Court that time. Why this delay in the appointment of teachers? I would like to know from the Honorable Minister, why was the delay for appointment of teacher to that particular school of Sindhulgiri Government Health School? Sir, uh, I didn't have information regarding that school, but from the statement of the Honorable Member that it is a single teacher school. Yeah, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, through you. Please respect to the question. Yes, sir. Yeah. Roster system is for the permanent appointment. So, whether there will be any kind of a stopgap arrangement for those schools temporarily. So, I have already stated time and again that they also have stated that we are looking at the parameter of the law, within the parameter of the law, to see that if this temporary arrangement could be done and if it is there, we will do it. Sir. Yeah. Sir, uh, during the course of uh, reply to the Honourable Minister, it came to learn that these schools, teacherless schools, uh, for these schools they have alternative. But uh, there are four schools which emerge in, in the least from my constituency. And these schools are, you know, far away from other villages, four kilometres, three kilometres far away from the uh, other schools. So therefore, can I get an assurance from the Honourable Minister? This will be looked into so that additional teachers or teachers will be appointed to this particular particular schools. We will be looking to sir. <coughs> yes, I would like to put a question to Honourable Minister. Uh, we are talking about uh, appointment of uh, I mean uh, teachers. So now uh, I'm going to uh, ask him about one. A clarification I need to get from Honorable Minister. Uh, we are looking for a qualitative uh, a teachers, student, and education. No doubt about that, the whole state. So, uh, may I ask, uh, Honorable Minister, why uh, there's no principle uh, which uh, which uh, government had uh, delayed till date for around 15 schools, government higher secondary school all, uh, all across the state. Till date, there's no uh, full uh, full fledged uh, principal of uh, government high secondary school. Around 15 school all around. Question over. Is closed. Since 2014, our country has been plagued by divisive forces. The MC is in Meghalaya with the mission to empower the people, uphold the ethnic cultures and traditions celebrate the sacred land to oust the proxy BJP government from Meghalaya. Be the change. Support TMC by calling on 96877 96877.